This is ChatGPT and it recently got into a lot of trouble in my country. Basically, it got banned. I was confident it was gonna come back sooner or later, but knowing how long things take over here, I thought I would never be able to use it again in my lifetime. A few days ago though, the ban was lifted and I thought, maybe I can use it to work on a project I've been thinking about. And this is where the AI comes in. I asked it to make me a layout for a launched coaster, but the answers I got at first were not satisfactory. It just gave me a list of elements that should be in a coaster of that kind, but it didn't give me an example of a layout. And that's what I wanted. So I asked him again for more details, and this is what I got. It starts with a launch track from 0 to 70 mph in 2.5 seconds, then inclined loop, dive loop, an overbank turn, 0 G roll, cobra roll, an airtime hill, twisted horseshoe roll, and at the end a brake run. This is something I can work with, this is something I can recreate, and hopefully it turns out to be okay. Let's see! And let's go into the live play, shall we? Hello everyone, my name is Michele. You can call me Mike if it's easier for you. And this is Planet Coaster. So we go and select the launched coaster that we are going to make. I love this based on uh, Copperhead Strike, which is a real one. And I like it because it has the, the train that resembles a, an old car. As you can see, it's, it's pretty nice, it's pretty cool. Now raise this up and start designing our layout. I usually go with six meters, six meter pieces, because I think it's uh, it gives um, the better smoothness overall. Okay, now I want to start with a little bunny hop before we uh, before we get to the. To the actual layout the AI uh, told us to do. Okay, so let's make a tight turn here. All right, and straight this up. Okay. Now we're gonna increase the speed. This is a holding section. This means. Uh, it's gonna, the train is gonna stop there for five seconds and then it's gonna be launched into the next section of the track. So, I make a nice and long launch section. Let's see, first of all, if if the train is capable of, of uh, going over the money hop at that speed. Let's smooth this down, shall we? Maybe it's better. Okay, let's see. Will it make it? Hopefully. Yeah, it's nice. Okay. Turns. And stops right there. And now it's gonna be launched after 5 seconds. Now, let's uh, add more of these to increase the speed. Until we get to a nice uh, length. I think this is enough. All right, let's remove the walkways and go up a little. Let's see how fast it goes. Uh, I don't like that the last the last part of the of the car is is still in during the turn, like when it uh, when it launches. So I think I'm going to fix this by doing this. Now when it starts, it's, it should be, like, the whole train should be straight, which is something that didn't happen earlier, as you saw. So this would be our first uh, launching mechanism with the stop and the release. And now we can add one more so we keep the same length, maybe two more. 
Mm. Let's try it like this and see what happens. Now remove the walkways. Eh, it's quite nice, quite fast. I like it. And then we have our first element that the AI told us to, to put. An inclined dive loop. I'm going to go with the left one and make it a little bigger. Wait, maybe I need to go up like this. Let's see what happens. Maybe this big. Mm, too much. This is too short, I believe, though. Yeah, it's too fast. I don't like it. A little too fast for. Okay, this should be a, this should be a, around the desirable height, 38 meters. Let's see when the when the train comes, the speed at which uh, it goes around the goes around the element. Here he comes. He has the five second wait. And he has launch. Let's see. Nice and smooth and the perfect, perfect speed. Okay, I like this. Now, we can go up. Because the next thing coming is a normal dive loop. So... You can prepare going up. And just move this out. And let's see if I want to have it on top here or down. Um, nah, it's, it's a bit wanky from up top. So I think I want to have it like right after the, the first loop so it's kind of smoother maybe it's still too too high now let's see if i place it here you would have a like a smoother transition transition between the two i hope let's see a train is coming let's see first loop and uh, there's a little like uh, rough spot in the middle, but in terms of speed and and how fast it comes there, it's it's okay. So I'm I'm happy with this. Now we, we smooth these out, and that uh, wanky part, wonky part in the in the middle should should be should go away if we smooth this up enough. All right. I'm afraid that this would be the part where the most um, the most forces would would be felt. So it's important to smooth. Then we are gonna smooth a lot uh, in in um, at the end once we have we have our final rough uh, layout. Um, once we have connected everything and added everything. So now we have an overbank turn. Uh, I'm debating if I want to do it do it uh, to the left or to the right because I don't know if I have um, enough space to to like put in the rest of the elements we have to we have to place. Um, maybe if I go, uh, I don't know. Maybe if I go left, if I turn left, would be would be great. <laughs> Let's wait for the train to come and see if this is the right size. I think so. Goes up. Yeah, it's fast enough. It's fast enough to to feel to feel smooth enough, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want it to to be to be smaller, and also like I don't want to place it on the other way so yeah it's okay that's okay then we have a 
Zero G roll. Let's go to our zero G rolls. Rolls. And there's a pretzel, no. Sea serpent. It's a flat top. Is that was shoe, what we would need later. There we go. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, maybe we are forced to do this this way or I could turn this I me have I have an idea here I could I could turn this I can add a little banking turn left a little more and like this and now add the zero G roll. Let's go and get it. There it is. It's too big. Now, first of all, I need the yeah. I need the overbank turn. Now that I'm here. Now the zero G roll. Let's see the speed. All right. Gotta smooth this out so the, the turn is, is banked in a smooth and even way. There you go. Now we need the zero zero. There it is. Halfway through. It's it's a long one. Uh, I, I'm in. I'm impressed because I thought it would be it would be shorter what uh, the the AI would, would tell us and I I thought it would be like easier on you this is like pretty pretty thrilling for a ride I thought it would go family friendly way but it's extreme okay it goes around it makes the zero zero at a right speed just about okay I'm, I'm I'm okay with this okay and transition I thought you got bored of seeing me build so I went ahead and finished it myself <laughs> so we are about to ride it for the first time and see the rough the rough layout of, of this of this coaster see where it needs improvement and what we can do i've added all the elements that chat gpt told us to add it's thrilling uh it's fast i, I can tell you this and yeah we'll, we'll write it together for the first time this is a rough uh a rough draft of it and see where and if it needs improvement let's go Yo, the AI did a pretty good job. Like the only thing I did was add some turns to make it sure that the that the train came back to the station, to make it sure that the train came back uh, and joined uh, the station. Like other than that, it's all ChatGPT elements. 
uh, speeds, everything else, and I am impressed. Like I thought it would, it would go easier on us, as I said before a couple of times, but it's thrilling, it's fast, it's smooth. Even before we we smooth up some some rough patches that I saw during during the test run. And it, it works. I think it would work in real life. So I am I am impressed, ChatGPT. Let me tell you that. Uh, I guess uh, I will finish some uh, some things here and there, and I'll see you when it's done. Uh, here we are before the launch. The final the final test. This is where I leave you. This is where I leave you. I had to smooth out some G forces because they would kill people. And this is it. This is ChatGPT building a launch coaster. I hope you enjoy and last time, next time, not last time, next time, we will add some detail into this because it looks plain, it looks unfinished. So we add some theming, some stuff around here. It was gonna be, it's gonna be fun. Enjoy the ride. See you next time.